Hey Vixens fans, I'm joined by Emily Mannix after today's win against the West Coast Fever. Em, tell us about the game. Yeah, it was a great match. Um, we knew that it was going to be a tough one for us, but we just had the belief and the faith from the start that we can go out there and, and give it a real red hot crack. So super stoked with that performance from the girls and you could probably see out there it was a real team effort and everyone played their part, which in the end got us the win, which was really cool to see. Was a great win, obviously personally up against the tallest player in the league. How did you go? Yeah, I loved it. I thought it was fun. I knew that it was going to be a challenge, and you know, every goal shooter you come up against is, or oh, it's always they're always taller than me, so it's always a bit of a battle back there. Um, but she's been a real weapon for Fever, so I knew I had a bit of a challenge out there and a bit of a task. But um, the girls out the front helped me so much with that, and, and we knew that was going to be a big thing for us. All the work that the girls would do out out the front and they did a magnificent job so credit to them not me <laughs> they certainly did do a good job and obviously from the coach the message after the game from Simone yeah she was pretty happy with that and and even going into the game she had the belief that we could go out there and do it and and that is a lot to say and and from the coach you know that gives us the belief as well so she was also pretty happy with the win and you know as a coach always is there's still things to work on for us which we know you know we had a bit of a lapse there in the third quarter and we'll see you know what we need to be doing to not let that happen again but um you know with the second quarter we scored 26 goals um which apparently i heard was like an sun called super Nepal record um, so that's pretty exciting um, but yeah super happy with the win and, and all the girls are pretty excited after the game as they should be and I'm sure we'll get someone onto the uh, stats and find out yeah, if that was a record I may have made it up you never know <laughs> no, I, I heard someone well Simone said it so it must be true oh, definitely true if Simone says it it's yeah. true absolutely uh, turning our heads towards next week up against uh, the Magpies crosstown rivals here at we'll say our home court advantage maybe um, how are you going to go with that one yeah, obviously it's always a battle against them and we all love the rivalry that it's created. I think it just automatically created this rivalry between us, but it is there and, and we're excited to get out there and, and hit that second half of the season really hard and we know that they're sort of going to some pretty good form um, as well. So it'll be another another tough battle for us, but hopefully can win by more than one goal this time. That was um, too close for comfort, I reckon. <laughs> yeah, definitely in the, I guess, the second round of the battle for this season. Uh, and we've just the last two wrap it up a message for our members yeah thanks everyone for to um coming along to the games and you know we've broken the record which is so exciting and it's such a big part of vixens and netball that you know the supporters that come along and support us week in week out so thank you so much everyone that's been coming along to the games and supporting us it, it goes a long way it really helps us get over the line so thank you fantastic thanks for joining us emily we'll look forward to seeing you out in the court next week thank you